Hello everyone, we're back here at the Hunter Call of the Wild, and this time we're going to be stalking a giant follow buck. So basically what happened is we spawned in at Peter Sham Outpost, and we were going to be putting up a ground blind out in one of those cornfields for calling in some wild boar. And what happened is we saw what looked like a moose. When I first saw it, I thought it was a moose, to be honest. But we got a closer look at it and realized it was actually a giant follow buck. So the biggest one I ever shot was like 165 score. And this thing blew it out of the water. I knew it was going to be big. Alright guys, so he was just standing right there, literally standing right there, uh, about three or four minutes ago, and basically what happened is, we were trying to figure out how big he was, and whether or not it was actually a moose, and by the time we realized it was a big follow buck, he already started walking away, so now we kind of need to track him down. We've been trying to call here quite a bit, and he doesn't seem interested. We waited pretty much about five minutes here and nothing came in at all. So after waiting about five minutes, he didn't come in. And luckily we managed to find his tracks. So we picked him up here and you can see he was trotting. So that means basically he either smelled us or he was so big that he was smart enough to basically get the heck out of the way. So you can see here, the track is very fresh, and he shouldn't be too far away. Well basically what happens is we track him to a wide open field here, and it's got a bunch of spruce trees I think that is. But I thought we had a good chance of spotting him out in this open field here, considering we can see for probably three, 400 meters out there. But there was no sign of him whatsoever, so we had to get back on the tracks and continue on tracking him. Alright guys, so our buck just called right now. He called right up here by these trees and he gave off a warning call. So he's not too far away. But the problem is, he's not coming into the call. So we're just going to keep creeping forward a little bit. Giving a little bit of calls once in a while. And hopefully that he at least slows down. Or stops. Or comes in. Or just does something besides just keep trotting. Which is what he's been doing for the last, I don't know, probably like 20 or 30 minutes straight. There he is, right there. All right, so he's in there right behind those trees. Look at the size of that thing. So he looks twice as big as my 160s that I shot. He he almost looks like a moose, and that's the problem. I, when I first saw, I couldn't see his body. All I could see was the horns. And we were in a pretty good spot for moose, so I figured it was going to be a bull moose. And it looked like to be like a 150s or 160s moose, which is not super big. So I wasn't too concerned about it, but then when it turned and I saw the spots on it, I realized we need to track this thing down and we need to get it with a bow and fast. Of course there happens to be a fox right next to it. We finally get to a good spot where we can actually call him in and we can see him. And there happens to be a fox within 20 meters just to the right of it. So... All we can do now is basically sit here because if we go any for if we go forward anymore, this fox is gonna bust and then he's gonna scare our big follow buck. All right, so we got the buck right here, and he's about 50 meters away. So he it's not that he's not in range, but it is so freaking windy out here right now. I can't even hardly hear myself talk. So, if we can't take this shot, we just can't. And even though the wind's blowing somewhat in his direction, which is actually bad for us because he could smell us right now, but we just, it, we just can't take that shot. It's just too far, too windy. All right, so he went forward a little bit more, probably two or 300 meters, and we ended up finding him again and he's about 50 meters away again. The wind's blowing in the wrong direction to make a good shot. But if he gets within 40 meters, we're definitely going to take a shot. All 
All right, so you guys probably can't see him right now, but he's right behind this thick brush. I want to take a shot so bad, but I just can't quite see him. You can hear him walking, and he's right there. He's probably less than 30 meters away, but I just can't see him. So after sitting here calling for about 10 more minutes, I finally realized he's not coming in. So we're going to have to get back on his track and keep hunting him down. Alright, so we finally caught back up to him and he's just up here. So we're going to try and give a couple calls and hopefully he comes in. There he is right there. All right, so all you can really see is one side of his rack, but you can see he's just a monster. So the problem is the wind is blowing right at him, which is good if we're taking a long shot, but it's also bad if we want him to come close to us. Ooh, he notices something's up. We gotta take a shot. He's about 40 meters away. And I think we shot just left of him. Well, after all that time it took to get in range of him, it's kind of frustrating to know that we just missed him. But at the same time, we still have his tracks, so we can track him down and hope for another shot. All right guys, here's where it gets interesting. So we got our monster follow buck here about 50 meters away and we're getting ready to take a look at him here and another buck calls just to the right so there are big ones right here so we thought at this point I'm not sure which one is the big one and I don't think this is the big one here even though he looks pretty big when I take a look over here to the right I see that the other one is even bigger alright so there he is there that's definitely the big one, or so I think. At this point, they both score exactly the same. Their spotting info is exactly the same, so I don't know which one we actually want to go for. But basically, I just want to get whichever big one comes in first into bow range. All right, so this one's about 90 meters away, and the wind is blowing sort of in his direction. And this one here is about 110, 120 meters away. And the wind is blowing right at him. So both of these bucks, the wind is blowing basically right to. Which is not good if you're trying to sneak up on them. But I'm trying to make sure that this is the big one right now. And I'm about 90% sure that this is the one we want to take. So... We're going to try and sneak up closer. Alright, so at this point I can't really get much closer or he's going to smell us and bust us. So I'm trying to spot him and see where he's at. The problem is he's on top of this hill and I'm on the bottom of it. And he can smell us way before we can see him. So all we can do now is kind of try and get a little bit, uh, I guess, upwind of him and hopefully the wind blows a little bit to the right of him so he doesn't smell us. It's also starting to get pretty late now so we're using our headlight. Alright so I can hear him walking now he's getting pretty close and at this point it's been almost three and a half hours real time of trying to find this monster follow buck. So I can see him right there. All I can see is his horns and I just can't quite see him good enough because he's on top of that hill and it's just too thick of grass so we can't take that shot. But he is pretty close and he's definitely within range. So what we're going to do is just creep up this hill as slow as we can. Now there's also another follow buck here just to the right. So at this point I have no clue which buck is which. All we can do is try and call him a little bit 
and see which one comes in first and whichever one steps out is going to get shot. So as you can see it's starting to get pretty dark out right now but we found a nice little flat spot here where the uh, follow bucks have been bedding or feeding or whatever and here he comes right here we can see him. You can just see his rack. It's so thick but we just got to take a shot. And the moment I looked and saw that bright red blood there, I was so happy. The hunt was finally over. Now, I wasn't sure if the other buck was even bigger, so I didn't want to pick up this blood just because I knew we could probably track him down without using the blood. And sure enough, there he was right there. He's down. So, let's go take a look at him. And hopefully he's the big one. But it, but I, at this point, I just don't know if he's the big one or not. He looks pretty good. I mean, either way, he's definitely 150 plus. And um, the big one was a little bit bigger. So, either he's going to be 150 or he's going to be bigger. You just don't know. But I got a pretty good feeling that this one might be the big one so let's take a nice screenshot of him and then let's pick him up and let's see what he scores and he scores 183 and he's a gold so this is definitely the big one we got so lucky that we shot the right buck and I couldn't be happier this is my first gold follow buck before this one, my biggest one was 170 score, and this one scores 183. Wow. And we got 1,091 cash, so that's pretty cool too. We hit him in the liver and stomach, but if you look at that angle there, you really couldn't have beat that shot, considering we couldn't even see his body, period. All we could see was his neck and his horns and basically just guess where the middle of his body was and let one fly and we got lucky and hit him pretty good so he went down and yeah he's a monster alright so I want to get back on this other track now because for some reason I think he might be just as big alright so we tracked down the other one and he led us right to a group of a ton of female follow deer so there's no sign of him anywhere, but there's a ton of follow deer around us. So we might as well take one out. And she's not going to go too far. So let's get back on that follow buck. Alright, so we actually lost tracks on that follow buck. But what happened is we tried to find where his tracks were, and it led us right to this follow deer that we shot. And apparently we hit it pretty low. But anyway, she went down and we picked her up. Alright, so we finally found where this buck is. He's out in this wide open field. But if you look how dark it is, this is just going to be a tricky situation here. So, at this point we're going to try and call him in. Because we actually have the advantage on him. He can't see us as good as we can see him. Because we have a spotlight. But... The problem is, I forgot about the 15 female does that are coming in, right behind him. So there he is there, and he's coming up over the hill, and it looks like he's coming right to us, but he actually spooks. So we pull out the 270. Alright guys, the shot felt pretty good, and I don't see any other sign of movement anywhere. So I think there's a pretty good chance that our buck is down. Yep, he's down right there. Awesome. Alright, so we ended up getting both bucks. And we took one out with the bow and one with the gun. So let's take a nice screenshot of him because he's definitely not a bad one. He's going to be over 150s for sure. You can see the paddles on him just like a moose. And let's take a screenshot. Alright, let's see what he scores. He scores 154 and he was a silver. We got 989 cash 
and we got left lung, right lung, on the run with the 270, so that was pretty cool. And most importantly, that was an awesome end to the hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.